Hi, I'm Michael Mermelstein, owner of America's Finest Corvettes. What we're going to do here today is present what our restored frame is compared to an original rusty frame that is typical for any of the 63 to 82 cars. Most of these cars have been on the road or off the road for 35 or more years. Um, so we have some problems I'm going to give you a little education on and show you what might be under your car. And hopefully you'll get a hold of us if you need some help. To start with, this is a 1965 original 396 frame. And as we come over here, I want to show you guys, this is out of Virginia, only 15 years on the road, believe it or not, from 1965 to 1980. This is an extreme example, but this is how these frames rust out. Uh, for, it's an inherent problem for the simple fact that unlike passenger cars and trucks, the Corvette frame is a fully boxed frame, two C channels that are welded together. So what happens is the moisture and humidity and dirt that's wet or snow, whatever it is, get stuck in your frame rails and they rot from inside out. What you see on the outside is not nearly as bad as what's inside. Key areas to look for are your ends of your frame, main frame rails. Then your trailing arm area where your trailing arms bolt up. All the torque for your, from your rear end and the car, I mean from the motor, goes to this rear area. And if you have anything that's deeply pitted or anything that's extremely like as this, it is not a safe vehicle. Just because it's Corvette and fiberglass, it's held together by all the steel. Um, so typically, you're going to see flaking or deep pitting in these areas. And if you come here, I'm going to show you what flaking actually amounts to. A little bit closer for your third member removable cross frame where it bolts up. This is actual rust that flakes off. So what happens? is you have a frame that originally from the factory new weighed 300 pounds bare with no suspension. When that, that frame was new, it looked like this frame that we have here that's pit free, nice, smooth, clean metal um, with full integrity. And then many of the frames, although not that many are this extremely rotten, most of them, if they have any significant pitting, believe me, their structural integrity is very compromised. So that's time to look at your frame, check these areas. Um, and if you have anything like this, these are areas that are not fixable. I don't care what anybody says. You can't splice a frame. The only way you fix a frame, if you want to go that route, is at factory wells. There's no way you ever want to splice a frame. That's not the way GM did it. It's not, it's not a viable repair as far as we're concerned. Um, your suspension, of course, goes along with the frame. As we come up here, any of your suspension, such as your control arms, your uh, rear trailing arms, your half shafts, um, any of these areas, coil springs, leaf springs, if these are deeply pitted or if they're, you know, flaking rust, um, believe me, you do not want to reuse them. It's not worth it. It's a safety issue is number one. Number two, um, drivability. And number three, of course, is the actual aesthetics of your vehicle. So um, what we do from here, is why I just want everybody to check their frame if there's anything. doesn't even have to have one pinhole in it. I've seen frames that have been actually deeply pitted. We've blasted them and we put them on a cattle scale. They weigh, they weigh 230 pounds. That's 70 pounds less than new. And because of that, you don't really think you're going to have structural integrity when it comes to putting torque to that rear end from that engine up here, especially if you have a big block. It's not a safe car. It, it was never meant to be like that. GM. I mean, you know, this car, will, it, will be, it will be twisting, your body will twist. It's not a safe car, and uh, they have a lot of power. The last thing you want is to get an accident just because you bought a car that was unsafe or you didn't have the knowledge about it. Anyway, this is an original 65, 396 frame, like I said. Customer brought this in. We did a whole body off restoration of his undercarriage, and we supplied him with no core necessary. This complete rolling frame suspension, similar to this one, but his was a big block. Um, next to it. And this is another customer 65. That's one of our complete rollaway packages minus the shocks on it with stainless steel brake and fuel lines. We have completely rebuilt new trailing arm assemblies, stainless steel sleeve calipers, all new bearings, seals, races, and, and all stainless steel e-brake hardware. Half shafts over here that are beautiful. Not pitted metal. The U-joint saddles are perfect. They're not, they're not compromised. So the U-joint clip should sit in here flush. 
Otherwise, you're going to get a binding in your U-joint. These are non-zerk. Every time you put a zerk on a, on a uh, part, a moving part, you're actually weakening the part. Then you go our rear ends or cast iron paint. That's not just bare cast iron. It looks like it. Uh, we rebuild the, the whole internals of our rear ends. That's a matching uh, number one for this vehicle with the correct date coated case and casting number. This is one of our F41, F40 uh, seven leaf springs engineered as the only, this is the only leaf spring engineered exactly to GM spec. It's not just a product of overnight engineering. Your car will sit at the correct height and has a true 315 pound spring rate. Each individual leaf has their own spring rate. We've gone to that point when it comes to this. Our frames are made out of GM original 68 to 70, 1979 frames and we see and see all the pieces that are different and we never affect suspension points. Um, so when we weld them on, they're done at factory welds, such as in here, and then there's a gusset in here that we do it to on the top half. So they're all jig fit, everything bolts up perfect, your bumpers, your body, everything's laser level, I guarantee you will use less shims than your original frame ever did with your body. Uh, we manufacture also the removable cross member, big donut cushions, I call them, vulcanized rubber around steel. We make all the rear spindles for these. Uh, we make all the, well, we supply with new strut rods and all of our plating on our, on our hardware for our frames. And what we actually sell is GM original, all the head markings and everything else, white and black cadmium, come on back with that, plated. And it's absolutely beautiful and perfect. So you can get the whole hardware kit from us for a reasonable price, all labeled and ready to go. As we come to the front of the frame suspension, uh, these are our eight arms that we manufacture. We manufacture this exactly as GM did, um, except with all modern presses. The GM riveted ball joint, not just a riveted ball joint, this is just like perfect circle the subcontractor did for GM with the seven little spot welds in the circle. Um, and the boot, the stud, everything about this ball joint is like original, okay? Um, it is quality ball joint, and same with the lower ones, just, just, just to be like original. Coil springs are original F41 GM ones, which we still have a supply of. Our spindles, our backing plates, well, our caliper brackets are our backing plates. We stamp these out, and these are all white cadmium plated with all the correct head markings for the bolts, all the correct stampings on them. Uh, they're exactly as GM, but nicer. They're not zinc plated, this is real cadmium. Three times the strength um, and durability and lasting than any zinc plating, which is baby plating. Lower A arms also made by us and all the hardware, the cross shafts, the lower bumpers, uh, ball joints, all the bushings, and back to the upper A arms, these are the correct bushings for judging and these is real rubber. Where the rubber sticks out past the steel insert, the rubber is actually the way GM originally did it from the factory. Um, this is not recycled rubber, it's real rubber so it will last a long time, it's quality one. Uh, all of our hardware is correct head markings and it's all new. Um, down to all our original GM hardware, such as our lower inline bolts, mounting bolts. This is all replated original GM stuff that we, you know, replate. It's California rust free, correct head markings, everything about it. Uh, same with all the blocks. Same with every bit of the hard hardware that is attached here. Um, our tie rod ends, we may manufacture them to be just like GM ones, original. Same shape boots, same shape forging. We manufacture the tie rod sleeves. We manufacture the GM idler arm. It's just like the GM one, no zerk. All the correct markings on it, correct boot, the whole nine yards in that. Uh, relay rods are, if they're manual steering, they're rebuilt. And this is a power steering option car right here. We supply it with correct, you know, restored brake blocks or new ones. And all the lines, you have a choice of stainless steel or standard steel. Um, all new bearings and seals, rotors and calipers in the front, which are stainless steel sleeve. Normally, on this, we'll put phenolic piston calipers for 65 and 6, which were original. Our sway bars are all made, they're all made by us. This is the F41, F40 package with a 15 16s correct sway bar. The forging is just like original. So is the WB2C leak kit. Ours is the only one in the market that even comes close, and it's exactly as GM original on our leak kit. Shape of our bushings, shape of our cups. And the head forging, which we're not going to get, I'm going to show you right now as WB2C on, on Lincoln. It's exactly as GM original. Once again, this frame was made from a later year GM frame. 
um, it looks like a brand new frame. We take all dents, we take all dings out of the frame, um, we check it for straightness on our, on our jig, and these are beautiful frames. Exhaust member, everything, body mounts, they're all set up perfect from our jig. Um, you can't beat it. In six weeks, we give you the whole thing, every, you know, done with a two-year warranty, rebuild everything. We don't need cores. We don't need, we have all this clean stuff out here. And we manufacture half of what you see. So our whole roller, basically anywhere from $9,900 to $15,900, you can walk away in under six to eight weeks and uh, you can drive your dream. Don't keep dreaming. If your frame, if you think you're going to make you, use your frame and if it looks half as bad as this, if you don't even see one hole in this frame, but you have flaky rust or deep pitting, there's no structural integrity here. It's a safety issue. We don't want the hobby to become a death sentence for people. Um, believe me, the car will never drive like original. And uh, you owe it to yourself, your family, to make sure that you have the safest equipment possible underneath your car. This is the heart of your car, and we're here to help you. Thank you.